Hey guys, my name's Mrs. Harris, and I'm here to take a closer look at one of the sections in this awesome book, The Tarantula Scientist. We call this a close read, because we're not only going to read the section, but we're also going to take a closer look at some of the details and talk about them. You're going to need a buddy to do this, because I'm going to ask you sometimes to pause me and turn and talk to your friend about some questions that I'm going to ask. I'm also going to have you point to evidence in the text. You can check yourself by pushing play again, and I'll continue talking. You ready? Let's get started. We're going to read this section called Elle est belle, le monstre. Follow along with me and be ready to turn and talk to your partner. Back at Trezor Reserve in French Guiana, nine children from the little village of Rora gather by the head of the jungle trail. They all go to school with Joab and Marjiki's son, Bernie. They are on a special expedition today. They're going to meet the tarantula scientist. Joab begins to introduce Sam to the children in French. On voit aujourd'hui, Dr. Marshall. We see today, Dr. Marshall. But Sam would rather introduce them to someone else. Let's show them Clarabelle he suggests. Off comes the plastic lid of the deli carton he pulls from his backpack. I'm going to stop right here. I sure do love how they translate all of the French words for us in this section. Like right here, where it says, On voit aujourd'hui, Dr. Marshall. You are probably wondering, what does that mean? Unless, of course, you know French. But the writer does a great job of telling you right after that, in parentheses, it tells you, we see today Dr. Marshall. You notice that happens a lot in this section. I'm going to keep going. Let's think about this question. Who does Sam meet with back at Trezor Reserve? We'll start a little bit easy. Can you find that in the text? Who does Sam meet with back at the Trezor Reserve? Point to it. Did you and your partner find this in the text? He meets with nine children from the little village of Rora. Great job. That was easy to get you started. Let's go back to the text. I'm right here. So it says, slowly a big black hairy leg arcs over the lip of the container, then another leg and another. Clarabelle steps right into Sam's hand. Here she comes. Sam says to the students, Does anyone want to hold her? Sam asks Bernie and Joe up to translate. Qui veut le toucher? Who wants to touch her? Says Bernie. And there is a moment of silence. Then one little hand shoots out. A ten-year-old boy in a gray baseball cap and a Reebok t-shirt. The pink-toed tarantula steps carefully from Sam's open palm to the boy's. Then another child reaches out, and another. Finally, nine palms stretch out to hold the spider. Even the ten-year-old girl with four short braids, who said earlier that day that she was afraid of spiders. Even the little boy wearing a Spider-Man t-shirt, who's only six years old. Let me stop there. Which descriptions in the section make the children seem familiar, like kids we would know. Can you pause me and tell your partner? Which descriptions make the children seem familiar, like kids we would know? Did you and your partner find this evidence? There's a 10-year-old boy with a great baseball cap and a Reebok t-shirt. I bet some of you guys wear caps and t-shirts. There's also this one here. A 10-year-old girl with four short braids who's afraid of spiders. Are any of you girls afraid of spiders too? Anybody with braids? And then there's this one last detail, a six-year-old little boy who wears a Spider-Man t-shirt. Maybe you have a little brother just like that. Let's keep reading. Now Bernie tells his schoolmates there's another kind of tarantula Sam can show them. It lives in a hole off the trail. Who wants to go see it? Moi, moi, me, me. Every child 
cries enthusiastically. So the group follows Sam to a hole where a Goliath bird eater is living. Everyone sits in silence while Sam twizzles the giant spider out of the hole. Voila, says Sam. As the big female Goliath rushes out of the burrow, wow, she's a beauty. The giant tarantula stays outside the hole for perhaps five seconds. All the onlookers hold their breath. The spider realizes that there is no insect prey and that she is surrounded by probing eyes. She darts back down the hole. Only then does one of the children dare speak. A little girl murmurs in awe, almost under her breath, El es bel, le monstre. She is beautiful, the monster. Here's a picture of the the school kids, they discover with careful respect how a pink-toed tarantula can be handled. Sam is happy to spend his life studying these beautiful monsters. Like his students, he's thrilled to be on the cutting edge of scientific discovery, finding out new things about fascinating creatures. But for Sam, just learning about them is not enough. He also wants to give something back. Do tarantulas need people to help them? To find out, all you have to do is visit any souvenir shop in French Guiana's capital city, Cayenne. There, on the shelves, among the postcards and t-shirts, you will see one of the most popular tourist items, dead Goliath bird-eater tarantulas, framed behind glass or encased in plastic. These curios may look cool at first, after all, this is one huge, beautiful spider. But each one of these animals was alive, living as vividly as a jaguar among the leaf litter of the rainforest. Each of these giant spiders was enjoying her otherworldly, sensitive, spidery life until someone killed her for a tourist souvenir. No one knows for sure how many tarantulas are killed for this trade. Sam estimates it must be th many thousands. There is no limit to the number of Goliath bird-eater tarantulas you can legally kill in French Guiana. How much can they take, Sam worries, and still survive as a species? This is one reason Sam is conducting his population studies. He wants to find out if too many Goliaths are dying, and if so, provide the data to the French government needs to make laws to protect these spiders. And this is one reason Sam wanted to let the children of Rora meet wild tarantulas. This is why Sam loves to teach older students in Hiram's spider lab. We need young people to learn to care about tarantulas, he says, and to make sure there's always a place for tarantulas in the world. Looking back at the text, which event may threaten tarantula populations? Can you find it in the text with your partner? Pause me. Which event may threaten tarantula populations? Did you and your partner talk about how people are killing tarantulas just to make them a souvenir for a tourist shop and make money off them? Good job. In this picture, hands reach out for close contact of the spidery kind. Why do we need tarantulas on our planet? There's lots of reasons. For one, a tarantula might one day save your life. Chilean tarantula venom might help heart attack victims. Research, researchers at the University of Buffalo in New York have found a protein in its venom that might help block fibrillation the rapid, uncoordinated twitching of the heart muscle that's a major cause of death after heart attacks. Look at this word, fibrillation. What do you think that means? Remember, you can use the text for evidence. It tells you right afterwards, fibrillation is the rapid, uncoordinated twitching of the heart muscle that's the major cause of death after heart attacks. 
how might spider venom prevent this experience? Can you find evidence in the text? How might spider venom prevent fibrillation? Did you and your partner talk about the Chilean tarantula ven venom that helps heart attack victims? And then there's a protein in its venom that it could help block fibrillation? That's awesome. Tarantulas sure are helpful. Great job finding text evidence. Let's keep reading. Protein in the same species venom might stop the growth of brain tumors. Scientists are also studying a substance in Cameroon red tarantula's venom. They hope it could lead to a new class of medicines for the treatment of nerve problems. Tarantulas have a lot to teach us. For 150 million years, tarantulas have evolved and adapted. Because they're so old, they have a lot to show us about the history of the planet, Sam says. What was it like on that ancient supercontinent, Gondwana land? And what was it like when Gondwana land split up, when tarantulas traveled the world on drifting continents. Sam could go on naming reasons to study tarantulas. He could list even more reasons why we should care about their survival in the wild. Let's stop here. Here's that word supercontinent. A supercontinent is a large mass from which all the continents were formed like this. It was believed a long time ago that all of our continents were all connected like this in one big supercontinent. How can tarantulas teach us more about this supercontinent? Find evidence in the text and show your partner. How can tarantulas teach us more about the supercontinent? Did you and your partner take a look at this part? Because tarantulas are so old, they could have a lot to show us about the history of the planet. Great job. And the, when Gondwana land, that supercontinent split up, the tarantulas traveled the world all over on those drifting continents. So they spread out all over the world. Let's keep reading. But for the tarantula scientist, it all boils down to this. It's really just a part of something awesome, Sam says. To see this spider and see how it lives, there's nothing quite like it. It's a jewel in a beautiful setting down here in this forest. These giant tarantulas are a sign of a healthy Amazonian rainforest environment, he continues. It's an integral part of an ecosystem. Would the whole jungle fall apart if one tarantula species went extinct? No one knows. But one thing's for sure, without these awesome regal spiders, the jungle and our world would be a lonelier, smaller, less exciting, and less mysterious place. I love that they use this word integral. Sam says, Spiders are an integral part of an ecosystem. How is a tarantula an integral part of an ecosystem? Turn and tell your partner. I hope you use that word integral or maybe you even said the word important because they both kind of mean the same thing. We could put the word important here instead of integral. I'm interested to hear all of the reasons why you said a tarantula is an integral part of the ecosystem. There's so many different ways we talked about today. You did so great with this close read and I had such a good time reading with you this section called Elle est belle. She is beautiful. We'll leave you with one last thing. Here's Sam. Sam understands the fascination people have for tarantulas, but it makes him sad to see these wonderful spiders killed and sold as tourist trinkets. Great job today, guys.